away from Holmes Chapel Cheshire. Give it up for your host, the one, the only, Mr. Harry Welcome to the show. Uh, no, your eyes do not deceive you. I am not <laughs> James Corden. I am Harry Styles. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, uh, you may be wondering why I'm hosting tonight. And, uh, and yes, you are right. Donald Trump finally got sick of James's jokes <laughs> and <laughs> deported him back to England. Uh, I am, of course, kidding, and I actually have some great news. Um, so, this is very exciting. Just half an hour ago, James and his wife, Jules, had a beautiful baby girl. <laughs> um, in fact, I was just at the hospital uh, before I came to fill in, and, uh, and she looks a lot like James. <laughs> um, mainly because James looks like a giant baby. <laughs> um, I want you to know that I, I of course, realise that this is James's show. It's his show, and this is a one-time only, one-time thing. <laughs> one time. One time. Unless, uh, unless CBS likes what they see. <laughs> um, I am here to fill in for James, so we should talk about what's going on in the news. <laughs> now, if you're anything like me, the only thing that you and your friends are talking about at the moment is the Alabama Senate race. <laughs> and today was the big election. <laughs> between Doug Jones and controversial Republican candidate Roy Moore. Roy Moore went to the polls this morning to vote for himself, and he took a very unusual mode of transportation. This is real life. Take a look. Roy Moore rode on horseback to just go vote there along with his wife, Kayla Moore. We have been informed by the campaign. Uh, no. OK. Uh, I don't know too much about hoofed animals, but I'm pretty sure that's an ass. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I made that one up myself. <laughs> I didn't. Moving on. <laughs> Yesterday, President Trump announced that he wants to send astronauts back to the moon for the first time in 45 years. And when the president was very startled when, uh, when suggesting this, and Melania raised her hand and yelled, I'll go! <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, and, and here is an outrageous story that we were talking about in the break room this morning over a cup of joe. Uh, in, the past, in the past three months, the airlines have earned a record $1.2 billion in excess baggage fees. <laughs> but I should say, they only received half the money. Uh, the airlines lost the other half. <laughs> they think it could be in Cleveland or Omaha or somewhere. <laughs> They're not sure. They'll get back to you in the next few weeks. Thank you. That's very kind. Uh, it's going to be a great show tonight. I'm going to be hosting the entire show. Thank you. Once again, a massive congratulations to James and Jules.
But, uh, but before we go any further, I would like to address one thing. Over the past 24 hours, uh, a lot of people have been talking about the kiss that James and I shared <laughs> on, uh, on, on last night's <laughs> Christmas carpool karaoke. Um, so I'd like to take an opportunity to announce that we will also be having a baby. <laughs> I have to be very honest, it's not exactly how I saw my day panning out. <laughs> um, I was sat at home two hours ago, um, in this suit, obviously, <laughs> and, uh, and I got the call that Jules was going into labour. So James naturally called the funniest guy he knew. <laughs> and, uh, and he wasn't around, so I, <laughs> I'm filling in. Um, <laughs> I am actually incredibly excited to be here because today we are doing a breathtaking piece of original comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for dogs in sunglasses. <laughs> Okay, I'd like to take a second to uh, talk to you about this guy. <laughs> this guy takes the office secret Santa exchange so seriously. He's killed six people to protect his identity. <laughs> this guy loves the holidays except for Christmas morning, when every year, no mistake, the kids mistake him for a toy and try and shove double-A batteries up his ass. <laughs> Let me take a second to talk to you about this guy. <laughs> this guy isn't doing the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> this guy's doing the 12 steps of Christmas. <laughs> Um, you guys in a hurry? Are you going anywhere? No. You have a you have a second to stay? Because yeah, I, I just I only take a second. I just want to take a couple seconds to talk to you about this guy. <laughs> this guy has to live <laughs> with the fact that last year during a Black Friday doorbusters sale, he trampled a Best Buy cashier to death. <laughs> Let me tell you something else about this guy. This guy's dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> Not because he loves snow, but because he's super racist. <laughs> I don't write him, I'm just filling in. <laughs> Let me take a second to talk to you about this guy. <laughs> this guy was playing Santa at the mall for three days before they realized they didn't hire anybody to play Santa. <laughs> And, uh, and this guy is going to try his best not to think of Susan and the kids this Christmas. <laughs> yeah, good for time. I just want to take a second to talk to you about this guy. This guy took this photo in June. And this guy left a little something under the tree for his wife. <laughs> Divorce papers. <laughs> oh, and a <laughs> Still with me? Right. I just want to take a second to talk to you about this guy. This guy. 
You only light the menorah for eight days. This guy gets lit for 10. <laughs> There's another thing about this guy. Yeah. This guy doesn't care what Mel Gibson said. He's still going to see Daddy's home too. <laughs>